Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to modify, delete, and close any positions you may have on the MetaTrader 5 Forex trading platform. Now, before I do proceed, I would like to mention that if you're in the market for a new Forex trading platform, or you'd like to give MetaTrader 5 a try for the first time, you can do so for absolutely free by following the link at the very beginning or at the very end of this video. The same link will also be provided down in the description below. So feel free to click on this link. This will directly bring you to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 5. And remember, it's absolutely free. Now on to the content of this video. Like I mentioned, this will be covering how to modify, delete, or close any positions you may have on the market. So first up, I'm going to open up a chart for the euro versus the US dollar to give us a visual component to this video. And then I'll also be opening up an order ticket for the euro versus the US dollar. Now the trades I'm going to place don't have any rhyme or reason to them. I'm just going to place a trade at instant execution so we can get some filled positions. So first I'll place a sell with instant execution at a volume of 0 0.02. I'll accept my quotes and I just need to wait for our orders to be filled here. So as you can see, our orders will now filled at 1.15391 and if I press OK, as you can see now in our trade toolbox down at the bottom of our window here, we do have our new order, our position. If you don't have this toolbox enabled, which it should be by default, but if you accidentally ever click off of it or close it out, it can always be reopened under the view tab and then you can click control T or the toolbox here. This is where you can access all of your current positions or your trading history, your different exposure to your account and much more. So as you can see under our trade tab, we do have our filled position here. We have the time it was filled, the ticket it's associated with, the symbol it's associated with. Then we have our type, whether it's a sell or a buy, the volume or the quantity at which we purchased it at and the price at which it was purchased. Now from here, we can begin to modify our existing position by simply right clicking on the associated symbol. And as you can see here, we have a couple different options. We can either place a new order with the same exact contract. We can directly close the position from here. We can modify or delete. We can add trailing stops. We can delete any trailing stops. We can customize or put the predefined points from here. We can adjust the volume in lots or amounts. And we can adjust how our profit is displayed as well in either money or points. Now you can also show this on the chart or you can develop a report for it in Excel if you'd like to. But for now, I'll just be showing you the main topic of the video on how to modify, delete or close a position. So first I'll go into modify or delete. And as you can see here under our type, we have a couple different options here. The two primary options when initially placing an order are instant execution and pending. So we do get the unique modify position uh, type here. Now from here, as you can see, we can access actually and modify our position to change our stop loss and take profit levels. So if you'd like to go in there and manually adjust without having to adjust trailing stop here, you can do so instead in your stop loss or your take profit. Now, if you'd like, you can manually adjust the price level on the left side, or you can manually adjust using the up or down arrows in the point section over to our right. Now, once you have a stop loss level or a take profit level that you think is correct and you'd like to modify it, you can simply left click this red button down below. You'll get a confirmation that your order has been modified. And once you wait, as you can see, our positions now modified and you can see the reflected changes down in the toolbox below. As you can see, I'm hovering over our current stop loss level that we just set 
and the red highlight indicates that it was placed manually by us. Pressing OK on our order ticket here, you can see that just we simply now have a stop loss leg attached to it. So I would like to mention that while I was not recording, our stop loss level was hit on our position there for the euro versus US dollar. So it caused us to be flattened out. So that is why we no longer have any orders down in the trade box below. So because of that, this time I'll be placing a new scenario, this time for the British pound versus the US dollar. This time, maybe I'll put a take profit level somewhere above the market price. And this time I'll be placing a buy order. The difference between our modification from this specific order now is we're placing our take profit level initially in the original order ticket. So we can accept our quotes here. And as you can see, our take profit and our order was now filled. So this time, as you can see, our take profit levels have been reflected here. We no longer have a stop loss level. If we like to, once again, we can modify our existing position and change our take profit level if we need to. So as you can see, the take profit level that I did set originally is quite far away from the current market price. So if I need to, I can modify this a bit using the point system right there on the right hand side and adjust it somewhere closer to our current market price. If I need to, I can go in here and manually adjust it since it is quite far away. Now there isn't really an exact reason why I picked this take profit level. I just put something just at random that was a bit closer to our current market price. But as you can see, once we have everything adjusted and everything is okay, we gain access to the modify button down here. And if we click, it will automatically adjust our take profit legs for us once it does find a good quote. And as you can see, we can press OK and our new order was modified. Now from here, as I mentioned earlier, I'll also be showing you how to close out your positions. This can be easily done so by right clicking and you'll simply just need to click on the close position. Now, as you can see here, we are considered to still be in the instant execution section. And if we need to, we can still place buy or sell orders directly from here. But instead, we just gain access to the additional third button here, which is to close out our position. If we need to, we'll just left click that. As you can see, we may need to accept a new quote before we can completely close it out. And as you can see, our position was sold at the market price and we're now completely closed out of our position and our trade box is now empty. But that was just a brief tutorial on how to modify, delete or close any existing positions that you may have had on MetaTrader 5. Again, if you'd like to try out this platform for absolutely free or you're just looking for a new platform to check out, feel free to use the link at the very beginning or at the very end of the video. This same link will also be provided down in the description below, which can be accessed to bring you directly to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 5. Once again, we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on MetaTrader 5 and other Forex trading platforms. Once again, thanks for watching.